Hey y'all, it's Joe, just Joe, and I'm back with another video. Excuse all the mess. I'm decluttering some things and trying to get through expireds and what I'm going to give to friends and it's a whole mess back there. But anyways, what we're going to do today is kind of a second impression, just play around, um, get ready with me. Me and my husband's going to pick up some Japanese food and have a little trying to like a trying to do a, like a little oriental moment, you know, at home so that you feel like you're going out, but not going out because of COVID, you know. But anyway, I've decided to pick up Made by Mitchell, Head in the Clouds for a second time on camera. I have used it more off of camera, and I really, really like this palette. So I thought we'd play with some colors today. Of course, this is the outside packaging with the holographic M. And then the palette is the same. Then ingredients and a little message on the back. Let's take the plastic out, which is also cute. It's got, oh, let's see if you can, the little M in the clouds. And of course, this is Head in the Clouds palette. I'll show you the colors again, just in case you forgot. And I'm not quite sure what I want to do today, but we'll figure it out as we go. I am going to take, hmm, a fluffy, whoops, I got two fluffy brushes by accident. I think it's the M433, let's see. Yeah, M433. And let's use Bora Blue, which is this blue right here. And let's kind of just go on the outer V and in the crease. Let me tap out my eye base. I had all this done and got to talk to somebody on my phone, so it's a little dried up on me, but that's okay. We're just getting some food to bring home. I just wanted to kind of look cute. Oh, that's a pretty color. And I'm definitely not going crazy today. Just gonna lay some colors down so that I feel cute. If y'all hear anything in the background, we have a big box laying in the floor from some luggage we bought, and the cats are having the time of their life. That really shows up really pretty, and that's more blue again. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Oh, I better tap this side out too. And just go in the outer V and in the crease. Sorry if that was loud. I did that right at the mic. I've been having a decent day. I still haven't gotten rid of this headache. Um, those of you that follow me know I've had a headache. A little over a month probably and I had a headache and then I fell really hard um, to the point where I blacked out and the headache's been really bad since then I did do a doctor um, one of the video calls but since it hasn't gone away and I need some trigger point injections in my shoulder I'm going to go in um, Thursday, today's Tuesday, and I'm going to go in Thursday and get that checked out. I think, to, let's see, what's today? The 13th, I think, so I go in the 15th or something like that. Who knows? All the days run together. So now I'm going to take a JSC Morphe. JS9 brush and it's kind of dyed. I'm going to swirl it around just in case some of that is actual pigment, but I'm pretty sure this brush is just dyed. Yeah. 
And I think I'm going to go in with, hmm, kind of feel like I need to go kind of pastel light today, so it put me in a good sunny mood. So I'm going to go in with Cockpit, this blue right here, kind of tealy blue. And I'm going to go in the outer V and in the crease again, just not as high up. Just to get some definition in there. This brush is about had it. It's starting to get a little rough. I like these colors a lot. I haven't used these two colors yet. I'm trying to use new colors in this video so I can tell you if I recommend the whole palette. So far I do. This palette has been amazing. We might just do a little monochromatic blue moment. Because the pants I have on have a blue stripe in them. Little linen pants with pinstripe. I like it. Come in a little bit further on the bottom. On both sides. And I'm going to go in with, I think it's Twinkle. It's spelt different, but I'm pretty sure it's still pronounced Twinkle. This little shimmer shade right here. Oh, that's beautiful. And put it all over the lid. Well, you know what? Let's do three-fourths of the lid and leave the edge. And I might come in with a little bit of a darker blue. I don't know. This is pretty the way it is. I should use my ring finger. I always use my middle finger because my ring finger is numb. For those of you that know me y'all know the last two fingers on this hand i don't feel as much as the rest of my hand the other two fingers on the other hand are completely numb but i do feel these just not as well as the others so sometimes i can mess up so i tend to use my middle finger so i'm sorry for that um i want to keep moving the chromatic don't want to go hmm that I need to get this and get some of this blue off my eye. There was some fallout this time. The last couple times I've used it, I didn't have any fallout, but the shimmer did fall out some. And just go back in with my beauty blender and foundation, but I am going to put some it on my bottom lid, so that's not a big deal. Let's see. I think I want purple on the bottom. So let's get us a flat kind of brush. This is a Sigma E55. Um, it says eye shading, but I, I use it for my bottom. I'm going to kind of smoke out the bottom. Let's see. Let's go into Soda Skies, this purple shimmer right here. The cats are running all over the place. I'm so sorry if y'all can hear them going crazy, but you know, they own this house. Got a fuzzy in this eye or something. Oh, I do. I see it. And I can't get it, so we'll move on. I'm just gonna take this shimmer. Up in that lower and just kind of bring it to meet the edge there. And I like that. On the camera, it all looks a little pink, but it's a purple shimmer. I hope that you can see it. It's so pretty. 
And again, that was so disguised. And I'm just blending it out on the bottom here. Oh, I hit my eyeball. I hate when I do that. I like that a lot. Oh, I didn't grab. I'm going to grab a Larmer Fig Caviar Stick. Caviar Stick. I can't remember the color. It's right behind me, though. We'll go with Intense Amethyst. I'm going to use this for my inner corners of light lilac. It's so easy to put on your inner corner. Just to brighten things up a bit. Alright. So there's that. And then I think I'm just going to do some mascara and a line. I did forget to pull the mascara out. But it's right on top. Also, let's see what color liner. Let's do teal on the bottom. If I can get it out of my little roll-up thing. I'm feeling quite colorful today. Uh, it's kind of a gloomy day. So, I like to put some beautiful eyeshadows on to make it a brighter day. If the sun doesn't want to play, then you can bring the brightness on yourself. I hope all of y'all are staying safe. Messed up a little bit, but that's okay. I'll always be fixed. It's just makeup. That's a very pretty green. It was called Cat Suit. I'm just going to use the Fenty uh, Full Frontal Mascara. I just have a travel size of it. But I actually like travel size mascaras because you're only supposed to use a mascara for three months. So unless you put on 500 layers, you're never going to go through a big size mascara in three months. Uh, now, sometimes formulas that are drier will dry out in three months, but you still ain't going to go through it. So, I just buy these small ones and little gift sets or whatever. And a lot of times, you get more for your money anyway than the smaller size or an equal. It's very shocking. Um, you would think... Buying a bigger size, we get more. But I do, I've done the math. A lot of times, it's either equal or I have actually seen where you get a better deal if you buy the small ones. Which is crazy. But either way, you pay less and you don't waste any if you are getting rid of your mask every three months. Not everybody does. But I have very poor eyesight and bad eyes, so I try really hard not to use mascara past three months because I don't want to cause any damage to my eyes further than the damage that's already done. I did get some mascara because I was talking on the top of my eye. Let's see if I can just blend that out. Yeah, there it goes. So that's it, guys. I'm super stoked about the look. I'm very happy with the look. And I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're making good decisions. And I hope to see you next time. Like, comment, and subscribe below if you like this type of video. And ring the bell if you would like to see more videos by me and my crazy cat life. Love you guys. Bye.